Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. So it's just about 8 a.m. and I had the craziest night or well I did have some crazy dreams and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of something called lucid dreaming a lucid dream is a dream during which the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming I got into bed really early last night maybe around 10 p.m. or something and I was probably asleep by maybe 10 30 11 I actually fell asleep listening to this guided meditation for lucid dreaming just because like i wanted to experiment with it i don't know i've noticed that i haven't been dreaming or at least i don't remember any of my dreams these days it was really trippy so basically i fell asleep and with lucid dreaming you're pretty much conscious of the fact that you're dreaming and you almost are in control of what you're doing which is so crazy right kind of creepy i was definitely conscious and aware of my dream and i actually woke up like a little bit later in the night, maybe like 4 a.m. or something. And based on just like what I've heard about lucid dreaming is that when you wake up, you're supposed to just like type out or like write out everything that you remember. Kind of like keep a dream journal, which is something that I do want to do. So yeah, it's definitely cool in the sense that I got to dream for once um, and actually remembered stuff. Like my mind is so tired, like it's been working all night. But physically, I feel rested and I got a great night's sleep probably like eight hours which is awesome but anyways let's get this day started i'm very very hungry right now so let's go make some breakfast there's like a proper way to go about this but I kind of just go in like upward motions it's nice and cold so it feels amazing hopefully you guys can't hear outside because my dad's blasting country music right now which I don't mind but you know when I'm trying to film so I was about to walk you guys straight to the kitchen and then I realized oh no I need to brush my teeth wash my face do you guys eat and then brush your teeth or do you brush your teeth first and then eat and then maybe brush your teeth again I don't know I don't do that I just brush beforehand because Morning breath, not cute. <laughs> I try to keep my morning skincare routine pretty simple. I started not using a cleanser in the morning when I wash my face. I rinse off with like warm water and then cold water to like seal my pores. Plus I feel like there's not a whole lot of stuff on my face. Just because, you know, I go to sleep, put on all my skincare at night and then wake up the next morning. Tap that into my skin. Let that soak in a bit. What I really need is one of those big fans so I can just fan myself oh that'd be so nice definitely shown this before this is like an aqua water cream type of thing i've also just been using my curology moisturizer i use these interchangeably but today i feel like i need a little bit more moisture so let's do this one. Oh, this water cream while it's cold it hits different i should also bring it down my neck too you know once that's all set i do my last layer of stuff on my face this is just sunscreen from supergroup this is probably like my favorite sunscreen that i've ever tried this has definitely helped me get in the habit of applying spf every morning or every day it's definitely good to use one that's specific for your face that way it's like a little bit less oily and it's more wearable it's spf 50 water and sweat resistance for 80 minutes now let's go make some breakfast because your girl's hungry <laughs> like the laying in my kitchen is just not ideal. Today I felt like treating myself and having a delicious, yummy, full-on breakfast. Finally trying this ube mochi pancake and waffle mix from Trader Joe's. I bought this a really long time ago and I never got around to trying it. So we're gonna do that today. The mixture itself is pretty simple to make. You just add water, eggs, and butter or oil. All right, now that we've got the mixture ready to go, I'm gonna be using this mini waffle maker. Look how freaking cute it is. This is it compared to my hand. I'll probably make a few of them. But yeah, I got this off of Amazon. It was like 10 bucks, super inexpensive. Um, this is my first time using it though, so we'll see. I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray so that it doesn't stick.
The waffles are looking like this. They look pretty good, but I will say that this little mini waffle maker is very time consuming because you can only do one at a time, obviously. It looks just like an ego, nice and thin. Waffles all topped with banana and fresh strawberries from the farmer's market. My mom and I went yesterday on Sunday. Oh, I think it's probably the best strawberry I've ever had. So sweet, so good. I'm just gonna top it with some agave as syrup and try this out. I'm gonna do a little boomerang action. <laughs> Damn, I think we got the shot. I'm probably the worst candidate to be a food critic because I love all food and it's hard for me to not like something. So let's try this out. Mmm. Took me a little while to get to the ube flavor because the strawberry and the banana is so sweet. A little bit overpowering, but it's really good. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I think I killed that. Can we get a round of applause? I've allowed my food to digest. I've been drinking water all morning. <laughs> it's time to work out, which to be honest is probably the absolute best part of my day. The, the highlight, the star of the show, you know? I look at working out as something I get to do and not something that I'm obligated to or have to do. When something becomes something you dread and that you just don't look forward to doing, that's when it's just not enjoyable anymore. So it's important to find the type of workout that you enjoy doing, whether that's lifting weights, running, yoga, um, biking. I cannot stress how important it is to just get moving every single day. It's good for your physical health, your mental health. I just feel so strongly on the subject and I'm really excited to just keep my channel going towards the direction of promoting fitness and well-being and especially since most of us are probably just working out at home. Finding motivation is definitely hard. But yes, this is your sign to make that decision for yourself to get moving. Get out there today or if you're watching this at night, tomorrow. I'm rocking a full Gymshark set. This is their camo seamless in this beautiful pink color, which is definitely a little bit more girly than I usually go for. Pink on pink is a little bit out there, but I think it's very flattering on any complexion. This line specifically from Gymshark is probably one of my favorites because it's very compressive. Okay, I'm done. I did a couple shorter workouts and that made one nice, long sweaty sesh holy crap i'm gonna stretch out but i've definitely mentioned this in vlogs ever since the start of quarantine i've been loving instagram workouts that people have been posting and live streaming and all that i think they're just so fun and to me it just reminds me of being at sort of like a fitness class which is what i was kind of used to before this all started i was doing a lot of berries core power that sort of thing i did like a strengthening workout using dumbbells and resistance bands and then afterwards I wanted some more like cardio high intensity stuff so I did a rumble workout which was basically a lot of shadow boxing and other sort of hit stuff shadow boxing is basically boxing with no opponent so you're just like kind of throwing the punches whatever even though I know for a fact my form was not perfect I still had fun doing it and it's honestly such a good full body workout just using every part, your arms, your core, your leg, your butt. It involves a lot of muscle to mind connection, which is why I really like it. You gotta really think about it. So getting into boxing or any sort of martial arts is definitely something on my bucket list once I'm able to do that and train. Self-defense, need I say more? That is just something that I feel like everyone needs to have at least a general sense of knowledge on. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> They want things that are more kind of just relaxing and rejuvenating, that are more kind of like stress relief. Yeah. Because obviously this is like the most stressful year. Definitely. Ever. <laughs> so I just got off of a little conference call, which was fun and exciting. But yeah, I just showered after my workout. Feels amazing. Oh gosh, I just feel so rejuvenated. It's still early in the day. It's like 12 ish almost one. I love morning workouts so much because it just feels like it almost resets my day and it turns into like a two-parter. I don't know. So I do try my best to get a workout in at least before noon and that way I have the whole rest of the afternoon to either work, relax, eat some good meals, which I need some lunch very, very soon. Since I'm already settled into my chair at my desk, you know, I might as well just keep working. I'm gonna edit 
check up on emails and then also work on my bullet journal because a new month is approaching very very soon for July I want to create like my setup and all that I've been getting so many requests to do a bullet journaling video which I want to do in the future but yeah I'll show you guys a little bit of that today so this is the bullet journal that I've been using it's a lecturm le lecturm I don't even know how to pronounce it a lot of people use this it just has the dotted paper as you can maybe see i don't know and the first month i have in here is actually june so yeah i did not start at the beginning of 2020 which is totally fine to me now i used to think that if i don't start at the beginning of the year then there's no point in like trying to pick up on it but it really doesn't matter that much and this has honestly been just such a great creative outlet for me this is hands on on paper being super creative and crafty which i love this is just an example spread from this month I have a little habit tracker which I didn't actually finish filling out my bad and then you know just fun little pages like this collage the calendar spread with little quotes here and there I adore it and it's just so fun to look through <laughs> so I usually start by scrolling through Pinterest for inspiration and once I get a general idea in my head I pick out a few different colors that I stick with for the month just to keep everything cohesive. For this month's spread, I decided to go for an outdoorsy, naturey, camping kind of theme. I don't know, it seemed to like fit a summery type of July vibe, so that's what we did. While I speed through and show you guys my bullet journaling setup, I want to thank Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people are taking thousands of different kinds of classes for all things creative. Drawing, design, photography, Fee, video and so much more. I personally am such a strong believer that everyone needs some sort of creative outlet and for me that's been obviously creating videos here on YouTube and more recently I picked up on bullet journaling. It's been a great way for me to add my artistic touch to something that I use on the daily to stay organized. A perfect class that Skillshare offers is the ultimate guide to creative planning and journaling from Amanda Rachel Lee, who I first discovered on YouTube for all her Bujo, Bujo? Bujo related content. Another great one is Writing for Self-Discovery by Yasmin Cheyenne, where she takes you through different sort of journaling prompts for gratitude and personal growth. And what I love about bullet journaling is that you can put anything you want in there. You can put your normal sort of just daily planner type of stuff like calendars and things to do but you can also add fun pages like journaling and writing out your thoughts and like i showed you my habit tracker the fun collages all that sort of stuff all classes on skillshare are a combination of shorter video lessons to fit any schedule so skillshare is a great place to learn something new at your own pace in your own time if you guys are interested in joining skillshare the first 1000 of you will actually get a free two-month trial if you use the link in my description if you've got some downtime on your hands and are looking to explore a new skill or want to deepen your passion for something i definitely recommend skillshare yes yeah, so i'm just gonna speed through all of this and you guys can watch me put together this month spread. I actually really liked how it turned out. I used different sort of textures and I love the green tones, the pops of yellow. It just makes me want to get outside and go camping or something. <laughs>